Hello my loves and welcome to today's Zara haul. I'm doing a bit of a spring, it's not quite summer haul, but there's some pieces in it that we could definitely wear in spring and in summer, which makes me really excited for the warmer weather because what the hell is going on in the UK? I am not about this rainy drab life. Anywho, I feel like this is going to definitely excite you for the spring and summer because I've found some insane key essential pieces but also some really really beautiful finds that I'm so excited like holiday outfits, um, oh just like pieces you can wear here but also like maybe a travel outfit, like I've got a maxi skirt of absolute dreams, I've got yeah just like a cargo skirt, oh like I, I just can't even, I don't even know where to start, there's so many incredible pieces in this haul, I think this might be my favourite Zara haul I've ever done. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try it on with you guys and we'll talk about it while the things are on. But oh, initial reaction when opening things out of the box was like, I cannot wait to put it all on. So let's get into today's video. So my first piece I'm gonna talk to you guys about, I love anything white. I just think it's super classic, super classy. Um, and this is just a beautiful dress. Now there was a skirt with the style of this skirt that went like really, really viral for a while. And I feel like this is the kind of thing you could like pair at this time of year with like a jumper over the top, to, you know, tucked into the belt, the little skirt going on, some biker boots, that kind of vibe. Even if cowboy boots are your thing, I've not actually ventured into the cowboy boots world realm yet, but I actually think it would look really amazing with this skirt. Obviously then it's gonna be a perfect like beach dress, really just beautifully made. And I'm just really, really like surprised with how nice the detail was on this. I feel like it looks way more expensive than it is. It's 45.99. I love the gold details and I love the waistband on the belt. And I just think the skirt and how it like flows is really, really beautiful. So let's try it on and see how it fits. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is actually as beautiful as I thought it was gonna be. The fit is lovely. It's really nice. It like, the, the fit is insane it's like, I'll undo the belt just so you can see, like there's space in it, which is like what you want for a sort of a floaty dress, like while you're on your holidays. Obviously this could be like an over the beach, over the bikini thing. This also could be like dressed up in the night with your sandals or with the heels, a little tan straw bag, just so beautiful. I can literally just see myself roaming around the streets of Italy in this dress, feeling just really beautiful, really comfortable. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, now, while we're just like thinking about roaming around the streets of Italy, I just feel like how gorgeous is this? I also have like this, I feel like you could actually wear this to a wedding, but I was going to say I actually have two dresses that I think are wedding appropriate, but then I might add this one to the list. If you're going to an abroad wedding, this looks Rat and Boa style, like this looks Rat and Boa for, it is $89.99, I'll have to give you my feedback when it's on, but I do think this is beautiful beautiful look hang on look at the sleeves i think they're adjustable yes you can adjust them and tie them yourself so it'll fit you even better i love the ruffles i love the tones in it and i just can imagine this with a gorgeous tan on your holidays the sun setting glass of wine in hand oh can you tell I'm excited for the sunshine? Oh, I love summer wardrobe. I really had to try and trick myself into believing that I really enjoyed a winter wardrobe. But I have to tell you guys, no, summer is the one. Spring, summer, summer, really. But I'm just, you know, accepting spring because I'll just take spring right now with the weather outside. But this is phenomenal. Now I feel like I really wanna put it on. I also did pick up a pair of heels that I think will be a perfect wedding guest heel. Also just a great staple heel to have. O M G. Look at that point on that toe. They are beautiful. These were $49.99. And also last night I was browsing on Zara website, which is dangerous, isn't it? And I saw these bags. Oh, and again, they weren't cheap. They were a bit pricey, but they're they are, I'll have to insert a picture here. I'll insert a picture here because, oh my God, these bags for summer holidays. And they are actually dupes of, I can't remember if it was Celine or that like Loway, 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 can't pronounce it. Anyway, um, that brand, because I actually found the real ones there later on when I was also browsing online. And I have actually started, if you're not already following me over on Instagram, I do actually do, on a Friday night, 
a splurge slash, slash save, which is basically me finding designer dupes for a fraction of the price of a regular of the of the real thing. And if that's your cup of tea, like you want a good bargain, make sure you're following me over there because there's a one for this bag, which is the you know you're, I just told you the story, but. Phenom, phenomenon. So let's just try this on and see how we get on. Okay, so I've not tied the shoulders amazingly and I wanted to keep my bra on to see if you could get away with it with the bra. And my initial thought is I can, which is fab. I mean, you can't really see the bra there at all. And if you were gonna go to a wedding and you really wanted to wear a bra, you could just stick that down so it didn't move all day. I've also done it up myself, which I do recommend these kind of things. You probably get someone to do them up for you. So they do just sit a little bit better, but Oh my wow, this is insane. This is probably one of the nicest dresses I've ever tried on and I've tried on a lot. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. And you guys can't see it, you guys can't see how long it is. Oh, you have to excuse any mess you can see in the background, but can we see the bottom? I hope you can because I'm five foot nine. Look at the length on this. I could wear a heel with it. I didn't try the heel on with it because I'm just, I'm too scared of marking them right now. <laughs> but this is, oh my wow. This is amazing. Like, like I said, I've got a bra on. So you can wear a bra with it, which is fab. I probably wouldn't because I don't have that much to hold up. But I just wanted to try it on for you guys to see if you could, and um, you can. I'm in love. Let me know down below if you're as much in love with this as I am because I feel like this is made for me. <laughs> Oh my God, I just love it. I love everything about it. Wow, I'm obsessed. Now I need one of my friends to book an abroad wedding. At the minute, I'm the only person that has an abroad wedding. It's not even in the diary yet because we haven't booked it, but we are gonna be booking an abroad wedding very excitingly, hopefully in two years time. But yeah, this would be, I mean, I'll just book up for our holiday. This is just, <laughs> it's staying, it's staying, it's staying. And I also just feel like while we're on this sort of like snakeskin vibey print, I feel like I may as well talk to you guys about this one because this is what I was thinking for like a broad holiday vibes, but also just like every day here with trainers, nice coat over the top. Um, but also like could be a travel outfit because it's stunning, but I'm thinking maybe more for holiday. But I, I do have two sets of like travel outfits, cohorts that I'm gonna talk you through, which is just, oh, 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 I can't even, this haul, I feel like I can't find the words. I'm just so excited. Um, so this is obviously like a blousy top, obviously it could both be worn as separates, which I always love. Could wear this easy, like tucked into some white, mm, white wide leg trousers would look nice, maybe some, just some jeans. Really, really beautiful, $49.99, a little bit higher price range on Zara. And it does look a little bit oversized, we'll see how that fits on. And then I picked up the trousers that match it, which I didn't realise when I ordered, but they do look, you know, like slight, ever so slightly see-through, like I can see the light through them but I don't think they're like, yeah, they're not like super see-through, like you see everything, but you'd need to wear like a nude pant or your bikini underneath these, which are dreamy, also 49.99, so 100 pound for the set. It's quite pricey. I feel like this is quite actually quite an expensive Zara haul. I didn't intend on that. I just really found the pieces so amazing. I wanted to try them on. So these are a beautiful like wide leg, loose leg, perfect for your holidays, or again, like I said, perfect for here. You could wear these really nicely as well if you didn't want to get the two with like a nice white tank top. I've got a lovely white tank basic over there to try. And maybe some like Birkenstock sandals or some Hermes sandals, um, that kind of vibe I'm thinking, with a nice beach bag, straw bag. Oh, oh, I can't wait for the summer and the warm weather. Oh my God. Yeah, let's try these on and see how they fit. Okay, so I've got this shirt and snakeskin trouser co-ord on. Um, so, I'm gonna go back again with you guys. Um, I'm feeling like maybe as a co-ord, for me personally, it's a little bit much. I think this whole double pattern print is a bit much for me. Um, however, the fit is really dreamy. I'm a UK size 12 and I've picked up a large in both. And as you can see, the shirt is nice and long, nice and drapey. It is oversized, but it's not like baggy. It's not hanging off me. I'd probably go for like a bit of a button down, more chilled vibe, I think, with it. Yeah, nice. I actually do like it out, but I am feeling like it's a little bit pajama on, pajamery on me personally. So I'd probably style them both separately. Um, the trousers are lovely. There is some room in them. 
Again, this is, I was saying this in the last haul, I'm not sure if Zara's just got a bit bigger or if I lost it and didn't realise, which let's be honest, I had downloads for tea last night, so I doubt is the case. Um, these are large. I don't know, because they fit me nicely on my bum. And to be honest, I want a bit of space in them. I want a bit of room in them. So for me, this is, this fit is fine, um, but there is a little bit of space in there. Uh, the length on them is absolutely perfect, like spot on. It's there a little bit long, if anything, but I love it. They're gonna look great on your holidays on the beach. I'm gonna try on, just like a plain, this isn't the basic that I was on about, this is like a little bit of a nicer basic. I'm gonna try on this with the, with the bottoms, just to show you guys how you could wear it a bit differently. And then obviously I'll just pop on some white sandals. Don't even know where my sandals are because it's not summer weather yet, so I won't be doing that, but that's what I would wear it with. And then you could even do the shirt and done. Let's try that. Okay, so this fit of this white top's a little bit strange. It's a little bit like baggy around here, but it's tight at the back. So I'm a bit like, are you too big, are you too small? What, what is the issue? I can't really make it out. Um, and you need to change obviously the bra because my bra is showing a little bit. However, this is quite a cute little everyday top and it has got actually a double lined layer look at the front, not at the back. So you, potentially you could go braless with this one. Um, and the length is quite nice to go into like high-waisted um, trousers, that kind of thing. So this is this is probably a lot more like how I'd wear it um, as a combo. I'm feeling this, I'm liking it a lot. I like it with the open shirt. This I could deal with. The other one, it was just that's just too much print for me. I'm not a massive print person, but I do like this combo. Um, like I said, just just some like, oh, I'm feeling like I'm ready for my holiday that I haven't even booked yet. Oh. I do really love this. Let me know down below in the comments if you do as well. We won't be snakeskin in it up the whole way through, I promise. I don't think there's anything else snakeskin. <laughs> and it's not normally my vibe, but I do really love it. Oh my God. It's making me want to book a holiday like right now. Right now, so I best take it off. <laughs> Although we are meant to be booking, like I just said, a holiday to Croatia because we want to go and view the wedding venue that we want to book. But I'm a bit nervous that if we don't like it, I haven't got anything else sort of lined up. Anyway, that's another story for another day. If you do want a little bit more of a chattier video, like I used to do vlogs, I used to do like a little bit more like chatty videos, um, let me know down below in the comments because I do actually really miss filming content like that. I always just felt like it wasn't as well received as perhaps the Zara hauls and like my hauls were. But yeah, if you do guys, if you guys do want to see more of that kind of content, just leave me a comment down below. Okay, so as I'm talking about two pieces, I feel like we may as well go into another two piece. So I actually ordered most of this haul based on this two piece alone because my friend, I went to visit her the other day in London and she'd just come back from her holiday in Dubai and she had this on with a trench coat over and some like creamy beige trousers, uh, shoes, sorry. And I literally was like, I need this look. You know when you're just like, I'm, I'm gonna recreate this because I am loving this vibe. It doesn't happen very often to me where I'm literally like that, I want that whole outfit, but I was like that. So, though I haven't got the trench yet because I do have a few trenches, but she had this lovely taupe coloured trench, um, which was actually from Zara. So, and I think her trainers were from Zara as well, but I haven't found them either. But this is just gorgeous. So we've got like very much the same as what I'm wearing now, but a lot of, a very different material. So whereas this is like loose, floaty, light, almost a little bit sheer. Now we've got more of like a satin, um, lovely finish, a lot thicker material. So not necessarily ideal for holidays, but could be worn on holiday. Um, and the matching joggers, which also have a stretchy waistband, which is what's making me feel like, yeah, this would be great as a travel outfit because so comfy. The print on it is actually really nice. And I have to say, if I saw this in the shop, I probably wouldn't have picked it up because it does remind me, my mum is a um, receptionist in a doctor's surgery. And the print on this kind of reminds me of the print on her shirt that she wears to work. Not as much as this one does which is the exact reason I cannot possibly even consider keeping this one. Um, I'd probably turn up and she'd be like, sorry, do you work here now? <laughs> but this, yeah, this just on, I feel like will transform. So we'll try it on and let me know what you think. Okay, this one for me, I'm unsure of, and I've styled it the same way as I styled the last one with the top underneath, just so I could not feel too pajama-like, but I don't know if this suits me like it suits, like it suited her. You know when you're like, I wanted it to look like that and it, it just doesn't on me. 
I'm not sure why, because we're quite similar height. And I think maybe she's a tiny bit smaller than me, but we're not that different in size either. Um, it's feeling a little bit pajama vibey. Obviously the trousers definitely need an iron. They are a good length. They are a little bit flappy, but they are a good length. And they do fit all right. I'm feeling like there's obviously a lot of stretch here, which is nice, but they, you know when they're just like ever so slightly could pull here if I put on any bit of weight. <laughs> they are a lot cheaper than the last set I sent that I just shared, but that is not really gonna sway my decision because I'm all about, if, if I love it, you, that's what you've got to go with, the one you love, it's not always about price. Because I'd rather have something in my wardrobe forever that I love than just be like, oh, well that was 20 quid cheaper, so let's just get it. Nah, those days are gone. Those days are gone for me. Um, so I'm just gonna pull this down so you can't see it. This is how she had it on. Um, yeah, don't love it on me. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Um, I like it, but I wanted to love it, and I definitely don't. Whereas, whereas with the last, I loved. I loved. I felt great in that. Whereas I just feel a little bit like this is just not my color tone thing. Because I'm not loving the next one either. Let's just try it on quick, smart, and see how we get on. But let me know what you think of this down below, um, if you do like it. I really like the sleeves. It's a little bit pajama feel, but it's definitely comfy. It actually, it does, I'm sure when it's ironed, will look super chic. Okay, so clearly green is way more my colour than navy and the blues were, because <laughs> weirdly, I actually much prefer this one on than the last one. But off, I was like, that is buzzing. The top is 35.99, the bottom's 35.99. Now I'm undecided, guys, what do you think? I'm definitely feeling the green more than I was the blue on me. I don't know. I like it, but I don't love it. Again, for me, the snake skin, I was just like obsessed with. Um, I'll show you in a bit more detail here. It's got like nice sort of pill detail buttons. It's got these nice sort of like cropped, but double like hemmed, ribbed. Um, Sleeves, nice relaxed collar, um, stretchy waistband, and the leg length is really great on them. So leave me a comment, let me know down below on the two-piece situation. What are we thinking? What are we feeling? What are we liking? What are we not? Okay, so if we're moving on, no more two pieces, I promise you. Um, two, do some denim. You guys probably will have seen this viral skirt on Zara. I mean, it looks massive, so I'm really intrigued to try it on, see how it fits. This is the, the Zara Viral Maxi skirt in the like e cream colour. It's $35.99. Yeah, it does look really big, but we'll we'll try it on and we'll see. And I'll try it on with just like a nice basic cami. Um, and if you did like that white cami that I just shared, that one was $8.99, so very well priced. Okay, so I actually just tried it on with this like little waistcoaty cami because I thought this was really cute as a combo. I do really like this actually as a combo. This is $25.99, and I think this is actually really versatile but like a really great spring summer piece. It's so soft as well. I really like this, which is a surprise to me. This waistcoat vibe hasn't really been my thing, uh, but I may be converted. So this is the viral skirt. As you can see, it's a bit roomy. It did look big and it is big. However, it's like snug enough on my bum that I don't think I could size down. So I probably have to if I was gonna keep it which I won't because I already have an amazing skirt like this from Boohoo, but I just wanted to compare it to be honest and I much prefer my Boohoo one, um, which is mad to think like this has gone super viral. Um, yeah, I just have to have it taken in, which you could do. So I'm gonna go with an A on the skirt, but I actually love this top, so this is a yay. What is your thoughts on the waistcoat um, like trend? Let me know what you think. I have actually got a really stunning linen style one coming up on my Instagram, if you're not following me over there, with, it's a Marks and Spencer's ad, and it is, some of the bits I find from Marks and Spencer's, guys, it's phenomenal. Like, I cannot wait to share that. So yeah, make sure you're following over there. But I, <laughs> I love this. I really like the way like the bottom sits, and that it's like not a, like formal feeling waistcoat because that's the kind of thing I was like waistcoats just sort of remind me of like guys at weddings when they wear it like over a shirt and then with their suit jacket on top but now I'm like okay now I'm feeling it I get the trend but let me know what you think. <laughs> 
Okay, so as I'm not having this kit, I'm gonna swap it out for a, and I've got two of these, denim maxis. So if you guys saw my last Zara haul, you will have seen me try this one on. It's a cargo denim skirt, um, and I tried it on the large. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with Zara sizing at the minute, because Zara large normally fits me, but big, and this was big. So I picked it up in the medium to try. And whilst I saw it, I saw the denim one, and I thought, okay, chuck that one in the basket too, we'll try you on too. So I'm gonna try these two on with, like I said earlier, a little, just a little very simple top um, and see what you guys think. Also, talking about the um, cargo trend, I'm not really into the cargo trousers. I just didn't think they'd suit me and I just thought I wanted to try a pair out to see. So I did a Stradivarius haul, which I then kind of turned into a capsule spring wardrobe haul. So if you haven't seen that video yet, it's a really, really great one if you're looking at finding like key essential pieces for spring, summer to add into your wardrobe. But I did chuck a few trends in there just to try them out. And the, the um, cargo pants I put, popped in, they didn't fit me, just as a bit of disclaimer, or like look great. Maybe if I'd sized up, they would look all right. But it's a really great haul. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure to head and watch it after this video. And I do think I forgot to mention, but I'm sure you guys will know by now, all the links will be underneath this video from today's video, so you can shop everything. Um, but yeah, let's try this on, see how we get on. Okay, this is kind of cute. It really is a mini skirt, mine. Like, being five foot nine, it's short. However, I do really like it. <laughs> I think the color of denim is perfect. I love the little pocket details. I think they're fab. It's actually quite flattering. It is perfectly fitting. I really like how it fits. I'm just not sure on the length of it. Like if I'd be like feeling like I'm gonna flash the world. Um, I think this actually looks quite cute together. Imagine this is just like a pair of little Birkenstocks. I know I'm obsessed with Birkenstocks. I probably say like, you could wear this with Birkenstocks every single time, but you could. I just love, I love the clogs. I love the Bostons. I love the regular Birkenstock sandals. Like. They're just my vibe, they always have been, and I'm so glad they've like come into fashion because they're so freaking comfy and they just go with everything. So yeah, I think that would look really cute to finish this off. Obviously it's much more of a summer look, uh, but let me know what you think on the cargo skirt and I'll just try the uh, white one on quickly. And, well, other colored one, not white. I'm literally just about to try this on and there's like some weird plasticky bit like all around the stitching on all of the pockets. So I don't think, what the hell is this? And you couldn't even cut it out because it's all stitched in. Very strange, Zara. Honestly, Zara is not the best. I've got to be honest, Zara is not the best. <laughs> but I feel like we put up with their shit because they, they do have some incredible pieces. So, yeah. Like, sometimes I just think, how do they get away with this shit? But then they bring out, like, these insane things that everyone loves and they go viral and that's how they get away with it I think oh it's a little bit short okay it does fit absolutely lovely really nicely it just does feel short I don't know why there's some sort of like crease in it here which is making it sit up as well so I'm not sure if I ironed that out it would be any better um it's I mean I know the term mini skirt means mini but Mini skirt on a five foot nine human compared to mini skirt on like a five foot human is very different. So let me know if you think this is too short or we can pu we can pull it off, we can get away with it. Um, I'll just show you these two quickly. I picked up two basic tops. Um, I'm gonna try this one on to see what it's like. Uh, this one is 8.99. I feel like these are key pieces for the wardrobe. Um, and I also picked up this white one, but I can actually see that it is super see-through. So I'm not even gonna bother trying that one on. It's $17.99. And it's kind of like a bit of a weird material that I don't personally love. Um, so yeah, I'm not even gonna bother getting my makeup marks on that one. Um, <laughs> but I'll try this one on now, see how we get on. Okay, yes, this is just perfect. Just what I was looking for. I'm in love. You know, it's just sometimes like really good basics are hard to find. This is $8.99. This is exactly what I've been looking for. And I've still got my brow on look and I've just lifted the straps up. So that's perfect. Um, and the skirt, I don't know if I mentioned, was $29.99. I think the, the denim one was too. Um, yeah, it's not too, you know sometimes you get these ones and they're like down here and you think, well, that looks shit. So you could actually wear this one out or tucked in. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Literally, we're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. I feel like this was a quick one. Might be ambitious saying that, but I feel like it was quicker. Okay, so I have a few little pieces. The wedding guest dresses, two of them, a pair of jeans, and a really dreamy top. So I'm gonna put the jeans on the top on and we'll talk about them while they're on. Okay, so I feel like I'm always on the hunt for a good pair of jeans um, because I just love a jeans and a cute top and heels outfit. Now, these jeans actually fit well. As you can see, they are ever so slightly tight. Like they're pushing that little roll out a little bit, which is okay because I feel like they probably will give. So they are a little bit stuck. So I'd say if you're like, in between sizes, maybe size up. These are a size 12 and sometimes I do go 14 on jeans, but not, not all the time. They're actually a really great length. I don't love them because I don't love this lighter part here. I hate it when they do this on a jean. I'm like, why are you ruining a jean with this? Why? They're 35.99 though, and they are really good in length and quite cute on the bum. So we can all the little roll that the jeans are giving me. How bloody stunning is this top? I love it, I love it, I love it. This is stunning. It's got little adjustable straps in it, but I don't think I'd wear them. I'd wear it like this. It's beautiful. And then to finish off this kind of look, I would just put like something like these, these heels that I told you about at the start. Um, how dreamy as a look. Obviously you could swap the, the jeans out for like a lighter jean, a white jean, something like that. I think that's probably what I would do. But you could also wear this just, oh, you could wear this tucked into some high-waisted things. This is beautiful. The colour, oh, I am in love with this colour. This is, can you guys see? Because I can't. $35.99. That is a beautiful top. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And this actually did come with matching trousers and a matching suit jacket if you wanted to make it into bloody gorgeous all in one. We could do that. And it also came, look at this. How beautiful. I'm gonna try this on. I feel like a little bit sugar plum, fa sugar plum fairy, but I love it. I wanna see the length on it, but I think this, imagine it with them heels. It's gonna look fab. Wedding guest dress option for 35.99. Let's try it on. I'm not sure. I think on the right kind of person, this will look great. It's definitely, like I haven't fully actually done up the zip at the back because I can't quite reach it myself and Reese isn't here. But it is definitely too big on the bust area. I just need to put a bra and I haven't got one on. I do think the structure of the dress though is amazing. It's insane quality for the price and you wouldn't think it's high street. It definitely looks designer. Um, or at least like, you know like coach, uh, not coach, sorry. Coast? I think they're called Coast. Like Karen Millen Coast. That kind of vibe it's given me for like fraction of the price. Um, yeah, on the right person, and if this was fitting well, it would look beautiful. Like a hair up. Oh, yeah. I can see it, but it's not happening right now. But I can see it. So I actually think this would look stunning on someone with like dark hair and olive skin. Just saying, if that's you, this, this is your sign. This is super cute and although it's short because it's because it's like got this cool detail and it looks like very high end i feel like it looks like it's meant to be this short and it just it just works it doesn't look too much oh, i really love it i do really love it i just wish it fit me a little bit better i don't think i could size down because it was a struggle to get my ass into it in the first place but when i got it up like past my bum we were fine so maybe i could go over the head option <laughs> maybe we try it in a medium next time let me know what you think i don't know it's either a yay like a mom i love or hate i reckon this one because it's a bit different um it's not the classic but i mm, i definitely wear this to a wedding actually i love it get me a little bit get me them heels on these heels are going to be so versatile i mean look the, the color match is perfection that's gonna look insane and then just like a little tiny little patch bag if you went for like an edgy one as well, like a really like an out there different one, this would be such a look. I'm hair up. I've got to be hair up for me. Woo! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to try on the last, oh, it's probably just lost you. The last dress, which is a wedding guest dress 
um, and it's under £50. I feel like I'm including these in every haul now. This is beautiful. I cannot wait to try it on. So let's see how it looks on. It's not only my colour, but I think the style is just so we had to try it. I'm having a bit of a situation getting into it. I actually can't get into it. This bit when you put it over your head is too small. But they have got these like bits look where you can adjust. But I'm not gonna pull that off because Zara have been really funny recently with the turns and they'll be like, you've worn it. And I haven't freaking worn it, I've just tried it on. So I'm a bit nervous to try it, but I'm actually just gonna hold it. I'm not even gonna risk it. So just imagine that bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is amazing. Um, wow. This is amazing. The fit on this is way nicer than the one from the last haul. Um, the back has a lovely like drop back. And as you can see, this one is going across. There would be two. There would be two going across. That is really, really beautiful. And it is a fabulous length. Like I said, not normally my color, but I would make this color work for me because I think this is stunning. I just want to show you guys the length. Make sure you've seen it. Just beautiful. I think you could add like a little pair of I could even do gold, you know, because actually my gold jewellery is looking really nice with it, but I would have automatically gone to silver, but I actually am really liking my gold jewellery with it. I really don't know, but I do absolutely love it. It's stunning. I just feel like Zara are really killing it for wedding guest dresses under 50 quid. I'm like, I wore one to a wedding last year. I'm like, this is quite bold to say. Bar the bride, obviously, I feel like that's definitely best dress there. Just saying. I'm just saying, and I'm happy to sound big headed saying that because I generally felt stunning. And don't get me wrong, other people look great, but my dress looked the best. And it was from Zara. And it was a bargain. So it probably was one of the cheapest dresses there. I'll insert a picture here. <laughs> I loved it so much. I picked up two really great dresses from Zara last year, actually, for weddings. Um, yeah, I think I'll be doing the same this year because... Why would you shop anywhere else? I am also thinking, and I want you guys' feedback on this one, about renting dresses out. So there's a website called Her, like H-U-R-R, -R, and my best friend has started renting some dresses out on there. So people like, if you're going to an occasion, a wedding, an event, um, and you rent, like you literally rent my wardrobe. So also let me know if you think that's a good idea in the comment section, because I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on that. Obviously most pieces would be size 10, 12, 14. But there's, I mean, it's not limited to my wardrobe. I'm just saying that my wardrobe would be on there, which would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get changed out of this and we'll, we'll carry on. <laughs> so that is everything from today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up. It really, really helps um, YouTube to know that you like my videos so that you can see more of videos like this. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the alarm button on, not to miss any more of my videos. I upload every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. And occasionally we sprinkle a few extras in. So thank you all so much for being here. Let me know down below your favorite, as always, and anything you did or didn't like. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.